Driving while drowsy is the cause of many accidents on the road. Our team is working to create an accurate detection system for drowsiness in drivers. We will go over our problem, our design approach, including some alternative design considerations, and then go into detail on our final design, as well as the costs and the risks involved. Driving while being sleep deprived is one of the leading causes of accidents on the road. Sleep deprivation and fatigue reduce both concentration and response time. This can endanger the drowsy driver and those around them on the road, as drivers need to be able to react quickly and pay attention to the road while driving. Microsleep is an especially dangerous condition that can occur when drowsy, as it deprives the driver of any perception or motor function for a short period. Our team believes that the current methods used by car manufacturers to detect drowsiness do not accurately do so. Many use steering patterns which monitor the movement of the vehicle, but don't actually monitor the driver directly. Accurate detection and alert can increase the driver's safety by allowing them to stop and rest if needed, and to become more aware of their current physical and mental state. This in turn reduces the risk to the driver, other drivers, and pedestrians. Our objective was to design a physical device that can accurately detect if a driver is drowsy or not. The device would be integrated inside the car and to be linked to this car's software system. We would design with future models in mind, not retrofit to older vehicles. We used the Honda Civic 2019 as a base for this design. The device would allow for its output to be received by the car's software and then alert the user, though how the driver would be alerted would be decided by the manufacturer systems. As well, signals for failure of the system or failure of device sensors would also be provided so that the driver could be notified of a malfunctioning system. Based on the scopes and objectives, the design constraints and criteria were determined. The accuracy of detection must be at least 85%. This allows for the design to be more accurate than current solutions. The device must be placed inside the car to monitor the driver. The design must be unobtrusive to the driver. And the design must be compliant with any industry standards that are related to the devices in, inside of a car. The criteria for the design are minimizing costs, which includes manufacturing cost and the payback period, minimizing the power consumption of the device, maximizing user privacy as the user is being monitored continuously, and finally optimize the response time so the driver is notified of their condition as fast as possible. The team employed a critical design thinking approach to the project. Because the project was naturally divided into four major milestones, the task timeline similarly implemented a four-stage process, where each stage correlated to a specific deliverable. In a brief summary, the first stage, Define, established that the team clearly outlined the problem, share important information, and prioritize key factors of the project, such as the constraints and criteria. The next stage, Ideate, had the team fixate on possible solutions and develop individual interpretations of the problem definition, resulting in an assortment of ideas and solutions to the problem. Three conceptual designs resulted from this stage. The third stage, Evaluate, acted as the experimental phase of the project and aims to elaborate the best possible solution from the selection produced in the previous stage. The final stage, Defend, requires the team to demonstrate the effectiveness of the design through a cross-examination report detailing the technical specifications, the design's projected cost and time, and a team testimony on how the product manages to solve the issue stated from the problem definition. Upon completion of the ID8 phase, the team was able to generate three conceptual designs. The team determined the best possible design via a weighted decision matrix coupled with a pairwise table. All three designs were evaluated based on their correspondence to the project criteria against a pre-existing solution, which was Nissan's angle steering wheel sensor. The rankings were based on how better or worse the conceptual design adhered to the project criteria compared to the pre-existing solution, which were then implemented into a weighted decision matrix. The weight of each evaluated criterion was determined through a pairwise table, where the team was able to numerically prioritize and rank their importance. These values were incorporated into the weighted matrix so that the team could provide a quantitative over qualitative explanation to the final design choice. Additionally, the team investigated the possible risks associated to each design to determine the possible solutions or obstacles to the device's desired performance, such as device failure, system failure, or detection obstructions. Finally, the team completed the same task from the perspective of the client, i.e. the car manufacturer, and the end user, i.e. the driver, though all ended with the same conceptual design in the end. The matrices of the decision process from the team's perspective can be viewed in the following slide. Multiple project tools were determined during the preliminary stages of the project, though upon deciding on the final conceptual design, additional tools were investigated and added to the team's tool set. 
The preliminary tools were generalized and essential to engineering design projects, while the tools added in the evaluate phase were specialized to the team's desired device, as explained in the following slides. The proposed solution involves using infrared cameras and artificial neural networks to predict the state of the driver. These topics are further explored in the following slides. The camera will be placed in a region shown in the figure. Placing the camera in the shown region allows the driver to be monitored without any obstruction. All three cameras will be placed in the same proximity with one camera on and the others off. Ten images will be sampled every second from the camera and be processed by the microcontroller. Two main components of system are cameras and microcontroller. System consists of three Arducam cameras which have inbuilt IR implementation. Port N I7 is being used as a microcontroller. System integration is done by using SPI serial preferred interface since it is fast and easily accommodate master slave configuration. As it can be seen in the picture, three cameras are working as slave and microcontroller working as a master. Output from the microcontroller are two signals. First is error detection signal in case of any camera fail or the entire system fail. Second signal is the drowsiness detection signal in case of drowsiness has been detected or not. The signal flow for our model can be seen to the figure on the right. The model starts and checks for a face to be detected. If a face has been detected, it will attempt to detect other facial parts. If either of these does not happen, then the model will restart before performing an analysis and extracting features. From here, the neural network will perform an analysis with the features to predict the driver's state before notifying the driver if drowsiness is present. According to the paper by Jacob, the proposed approach to predicting drowsy driving is extremely accurate when performed under various challenging conditions and with different types of information. The model consisting of artificial neural networks should be able to predict with accuracy for around 95% of the test data set. This means that the model should, do, should be able to predict when the impairment will appear within 13.11 minutes of observation. Furthermore, for the best case, the total model should be able to predict drowsiness within 1.97 minutes of observation. Data examined from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration determined that approximately 23% of fatal crashes and 13% of crashes that resulted in hospital admission involved drowsy driving. Being able to predict when a driver's impairment will appear will lead to lowering the total amounts of accidents and will lead to safer road conditions. A solution is economically beneficial to clients as more reliable driver safety functionality leads to an increase in overall sales. Furthermore, a solution to this problem cannot only improve the safety of the driver but also reduce the number of road accidents. Our solution indirectly interacts with the environment as reducing accidents through improving driver safety ultimately reduces in fewer car crashes and this leads to less waste in the landfills. This also indirectly enforces the environment as oil spills from wrecked vehicles are one of the biggest problems with transportation accidents. Economic and Life Cycle Costing Life cycle cost consists of purchase cost, installation cost, maintenance cost, repair cost, and disposable cost. Final product purchase cost was determined to be $375, which include cost of microcontroller, cameras, and programming. Installation cost was set up to $200. There are two cost exits, which occurs yearly. That is, maintenance cost of $75 per year, and repair cost of $100 per year. And there are disposable cost of $250. Given 10 year of product life, life cycle cost is estimated to be $2,575. Talking about payback period, payback period is 0 0.703 years and it is calculated by dividing the cost of investment by annual revenue. Cost of investment is calculated by adding the manufacturing cost to the overhead cost. Manufacturing cost breakdown can be seen in the given table. 
Annual revenue is the product of number of units manufactured and sales price per unit. The main risk involved in the design are the failure of critical components such as the camera, the microcontroller, and any of the connections in between. For this design, when a system component fails, the driver is notified of the failure immediately through the dashboard. The design assumes that all facial features required for an accurate prediction can be extracted from the body. If the driver is wearing sunglasses, the eyes cannot be monitored, which decreases the accuracy of prediction. One way to resolve this issue is by using other variables that correlate to drowsiness, which reduce the dependence of the facial features. As it mentioned earlier, proposed solution is vision-based solution that detects different facial expression of the driver in order to detect drowsiness. Our solution only provides the signal whether drowsiness has been detected or not and leave it up to the manufacturer of the vehicle how they want to implement the response action. Surveys done in past by government organization has shown that drowsy driving accounts for 23% accidents on the road, but our system can potentially reduce the vehicle collision by approximately 50%. Our solution would just not keep drivers safe, but consequently the public on the road as well. There are always a room to improve, since everyday change in technology and development in artificial intelligence and machine learning can definitely further improve the overall system. Proposed solution can be made compatible for heavy vehicle such as trucks and buses, but that is the out of scope for this project. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening to us. I hope everything was clear from the slides and you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you again.